Welcome to our video series, Electrical Contact Fundamentals. This is Alan Huffness, and this session deals with keeping contact resistance low, an important consideration for all electrical contact systems. Typical causes of high contact resistance are foreign contamination and corrosion of the contact material. Foreign contamination may be introduced in the contact manufacturing process, but it also may be a, a factor in the environment where the contacts operate. Corrosion of the contact material is generally caused by the environment of which the contact materials operate in and is an important consideration in the selection of contact material. High contact resistance leads to overheating, contact welding, high erosion, or no contact at all. All of those factors can lead to shortened electrical contact life and in some cases catastrophic failure. Make sure contacts are clean and keep them clean. This is an important consideration in the manufacturing process, in the assembly process, and in the device manufacturing process. At every opportunity, try to avoid contamination of all types. The cleaner the contact, the lower the contact resistance. An important method for overcoming small amounts of contact contamination is providing adequate contact force in the contact system that's being developed. Depending on the type of material that's selected, for various reasons, including corrosion, uh, you may need more or less contact force. But adequate contact force is always important to keep the contact resistance as low as possible. Mechanical wiping action is another design consideration that can be utilized to keep the contact clean, especially during long durations of operation. You generally start with a fixed contact and a moving contact. Moving contact is on a flexible blade which allows it to rock or wipe during operation, helping to move any kind of contamination that's on the surface to an area where it's not going to interfere with good electrical contact. Choosing the correct contact material is an important consideration for every contact system. You want to avoid material corrosion. You want to have the contact material capable of carrying the expected electrical load. And you want to have the contacts be reliable over long periods of time. The correct contact material can greatly improve the results and enhance the contact performance in any contact system. Using the correct geometry for contact is also an important consideration. When you use a radius contact, in some cases a radius and flat or two radius, you have an opportunity to make contact near the center of both contacts. This is preferred because you'll have the best situation with regard to thermal conductivity, moving heat away from the contacts, and you also will be able to discourage arcs from forming at the edge of the contact, which is generally sharp corners, can provide a preferential area for arcing. So try to choose the correct geometries and try to have the contacts aligned properly to make contact near the center of each contact surface. Keeping the contacts cool is a very important consideration in all electrical contact systems. You do this by choosing very high conductive terminals and blades. You use thicknesses of material adequate to carry the current and do everything possible to design a geometry which will move as much temperature as possible away from the contact system. Keeping the contacts cool will minimize erosion and help to prevent welding which can lead to catastrophic failure. 
For more information, go to the Technical Resources section of pepbrainin.com. That's where you'll find more tips from our experts, including a guide to troubleshooting common electrical contact problems. Thank you.